Hello everyone, I hope you're taking it easy and your day has been great thus far. For this video we'll be going through an unboxing of the Ford Mustang Shelby GT500 and this is set 42138 out of the Lego Technic range and this particular set was released within the first quarter of this year. This year is still being 2022, albeit not for much longer. So here we have my weekly dose of Lego, I'm trying to do a Lego set uh, once a week just to keep things mixed up a little in between everything else that I'm posting. Uh, it's been in the little backlog of sorts for a while now, so I thought now will be a good time to have a look at the box, crack open the box and have a look inside and um, hopefully queue it up for building. So here we have the front of the box of the Mustang Shelby. Now, I will admit, initially I was very on the fence about it, mainly because of the colour. It isn't a terrible colour, um, and I think the fact that the chassis didn't look as technical as Technic usually does, um, helped me sway back into a, I think I'll enjoy this set. If I had a preference, it wouldn't be great. Um, but in saying that, the Batmobile is a very hefty looking set, which I don't think it's a Mustang, or maybe it is. Um, and that pretty much ticks a lot more boxes. But anyway, um, yeah, that was my initial reaction to this set of not too sure about it, but I think over time I can probably appreciate it a bit more than my initial reaction. So, front of the box, nice shot of the Shelby. Now, in the bottom left corner, it does look like there will be some augmented reality bits and pieces involved. I'm going to say bits and pieces, probably some type of interactive app. Um, where it may or may not overlay the Shelby amongst um, a real life image, but uh, I guess we'll see. So, front of the box, Shelby. Now, there is allegedly a pullback mechanism. For me, it's probably a moot point, but uh, for some people, they actually may enjoy building it and then having some form of uh, pseudo racing with it. Um, top of the box, we have a, another angled shot of the Shelby, and I will admit, especially for Technic, the actual chassis does look more aligned to the actual your car itself, where I know part of the line can sometimes take a very mechanical look. And we also have a one-to-one -one of a included tyre. Um, on one side of the box, we do have a bit of a quick illustration regarding the pullback and then on the other side um, we have a bit of info regarding the augmented reality so download which I suspect is download the app uh, scan the model and then experience your augmented reality experience which seems to be basically an overlay of the Shelby on your phone. Which, you know, is still very, very cool. I remember some time ago, I think it was a Jurassic World book that had some of that augmented reality within it. And similar to Pokemon Go, I dare say, you could overlay a dinosaur into a real world. And I will admit, it looked really, really cool. Back into the box ever so quickly. So in terms of the bottom bit, so it's a combination of the pullback mechanism that we saw before and then the augmented reality experience about downloading the app, scanning the model. Now interesting with the pullback, whilst yes it's a pullback it looks like there will also be a lever to effectively launch the Shelby. Um, and normally it looks like it'll actually be tucked away. So that's the actual rear shot of the Shelby uh, that a lot of these vehicle type sets like to do. Have the front of the vehicle on the front, back on the back, 
and this looks like it gives a bit of an indication of that pullback mechanism and we do have a side shot of the Shelby uh, as per its actual real 100% look and surprisingly enough based on that it does actually look pretty darn good interesting to see how the uh, green actually looks could be a darker green, a lighter green, or any other green in between. So now that we've had a look at the outside of the box, I will open up the box. I believe it's taped, which is good. Now for a kit this size... Mm, I want to say five bags. Five bags, a manual, and a sticker sheet. Let's see how right or wrong I am. And with everything out of the box, well, I guess if everything was in a bag, then yes, it would be five bags. But there were actually four bags, as well as two large, loose items. So with that being said, um, let's go get straight into the manual, which is of a decent thickness. So front of the manual, which is pretty much just the front of the box, and I will admit with a few less things around it, it does look very nice. Back of the box, box, booklet, manual, uh, standard product feedback. Going inside, um, I probably did not err on the right side and might be some stuff snipped out of the video. So just the usual stuff, uh, a little reminder about being able to measure the rods against the manual itself, being one to one. And then here we have all of bags one, basically starting from page 6 to 61, and then all of bags two from page 62 onwards. And then starting through that, so bag one and the two loose components, which I suspect are probably going to be part of the pullback gimmick. Um, let me see if I can just change some of that glare. And um, just quickly going through the booklet. So, being a technique set, it is going to be. On the technical build side, which is definitely going to add a lot of fun and intrigue to the build. And I will admit it's been a very long time since I've last built a Technic set. So we're coming up to page 30, so we're probably halfway through bag one. Still building a lot of the basic frame of the Shelby. Still building the frame can see the back here being part of the pullback gimmick. So coming up to the 40s range, still very much a basic construction of the base body. Uh, almost ending page 49 and I guess we actually are starting to get a bit of detailing on with the side of the chassis. This will probably be the other side of the chassis. Yes, there will be stickers included. We'll have a look at the sticker sheet in a little bit. So this is up to step 75 on page 53. So we're actually getting a bit of detailing in on the actual main body. Now if I just jump a little bit. Okay. So um, this is step 90 on page 61, which is the end of bag number one. So very interesting. It's a very bare bone chassis at this point in time. And I dare say, that's to be expected. Bags number two will pretty much beef up the rest of the shelving. So if we continue through our little page flicking, and I won't go through every single page, otherwise this review, well not review, unboxing will end up being an extra 10 minutes long. Definitely skipping a few pages, we're now coming up into almost step 140 on page 90. Uh, step 141, and this is on page 91, so we still have a few more pages yet. 
This is actually definitely a very interesting looking build. Even at these last few stages, it seems very hollow, but uh, could be me. But then it does seem that we're uh, adding a bit of bulk into the rear of the Shelby. Not to mention the launch gimmick. The rear spoiler. Adding on some tyres. And then a few odds and ends. So it looks like the pullback gimmick can actually be pulled out and I dare say actually replaced with a proper looking exterior. There you go, 165. So if you're not a big fan of the pull out, well pullback um, gimmick of the vehicle, you can actually build it with a proper um, rear section and then there you go, 106 steps later, a completed Shelby. And then honestly, it actually doesn't look that bad. I think they've done quite well at getting the chassis. And then a few pages regarding the augmented reality. And then here we have a side-by-side -side comparison of the real Shelby versus the Lego set. And granted, it's not perfect and it won't be. It has done quite well. And then we have the parts at the very end. So that was the look through the fairly decent sized manual. In terms of everything else, first off, the sticker sheet. So it's uh, not a small sticker sheet, but this kit is not as small either. With up to the number 24. But it does look like a few stickers will use the same numbering, so uh, sticker is number 23. Cannot confirm if that's a single sticker or two stickers. It actually might be a single sticker. Uh, either way, up to the number 24. So, decent sized sticker sheet, but looks like most of this will go on flat surfaces, which will make applying them infinitely easier. So that was the stickers. Now. Looking at some of these loose items, these are the two loose items that are in there and I suspect this is pretty much the core of the pullback gimmick. Not sure how it works, I'll definitely find a way to see how it works but uh, yes I will definitely be uh, most likely after having play around with the pullback gimmick will put the correct rear on the Shelby. So we have the two of those. Now, as for bags, we'll start off with small bag one. So, smaller bag one with some of your smaller pieces, a lot of your um, rod connector pins and things like that, coming in a variety of grey, black and green pieces. The green isn't that bad. In a way it reminds me of the same green that Crosshairs had from the and Transformers movies when he made his appearance. Although I think his was still a bit of a darker green than this. So that's small bag number one. Big bag number one. Which has at least two small bags in there. Definitely some of your larger pieces will be on this or in this bag. Good example of a very large piece. Some of the side of the shoulder will be in here as well. As you can see, some of these long rod pieces as well. And in fact, could there be a third small bag in there? Because that looks to be a bag with a lot of your black pins in there. But either way, that is the larger bag number one, which we now know will be responsible for building the basic frame of the shoulder. So that's the two number ones. We have a small number two. Similar concept as the small number one. This time we've got a decent array of green and black pieces with a few other colours intermixed. Still a lot of your pin connectors and things like that. As well as some other pieces in there as well. That's small bag number two. And now we have big bag number two. 
Now, in terms of the tires, if I can get one. Oh, here's one. Oh, yes. Tires are definitely, definitely rubber. Which, to be honest, for a kit this size, price point, and everything, you would actually hope so. So we still have a large array of pieces in there, as well as some smaller pieces. I dare say at least two small bags. Um, we obviously have the tyres in here, the rims as well. So now that we know what bag number two is, that's pretty much building, well, finalising the exterior shell and chassis of the Shelby. So large bag number two. So that brings us to an end of the unboxing of the Ford Mustang Shelby GT500. Definitely a very nice looking vehicle and it feels like from a price point to the number of pieces provided it's a good solid ratio. I believe it's over 500 pieces so it's not a quick half an hour build. Well, maybe for some. I don't think I'll be building this in half an hour. I'm going to assume it will probably be longer than the IM Group set, which I've finished building, at least at the point of recording this video. So I'd probably say around two hours, uh, maybe a little less if I'm just focusing on building, uh, maybe even more if I'm multitasking, building and uh, watching something at the same time. But either way, I am actually pleasantly surprised by the look of the set. Definitely glad I did end up picking one up. And the green is progressively warming up to me as well. So I think once I finally start building it, I'll warm up to the green a bit more. Thank you very much for watching this unboxing video. Feel free to leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the content. All of this does help support the channel and I do greatly appreciate it. Extra content can also be found on my Instagram account, link below. Stay safe and take care, and I will catch you all in a future video, whether it's the ultimate review of this set, another LEGO video, or another video on my channel. See ya.